Oh, what's going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Dylan, welcome back to the channel, hopefully each and every single one of you are feeling fine and fantastic. Yes, we're going to take a look at the movie, this was a requested tier movie, this is called Balto, or Balto, I don't know, we're about to find out how it's pronounced ladies and gentlemen, so I do know it's an animation, it's got a runtime of 1 hour and 17 minutes, it's about a dog because there's a dog on the front, so guys, Without further ado, let's jump straight into it. If you want to check it out on full, it's over on Patreon, guys. It's the best way to support us is over on Patreon. You guys have been absolutely killing it this month over on Patreon. I can't thank you guys enough. And now let's get it. Let's go. Come on. Nice orchestra. Okay, so it's not an animation. All right. My bad. My bad. But it was here. Someplace. <laughs> It's been so long since my last visit. Grandma, when was the last time you were here? Way before you were born, sweetheart. Hmm. We're in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> we're right in the middle of New York City. But you're gonna... Not much further. Blaze is getting tired. Oh, I see. The dog's getting tired or you're getting tired? A reminder of a wonderful story. What place is that, Grandma? No Alaska in the cold winter of 1925. Getting around was with teams of dogs pulling long sleds. The ah, here we go. Now it's the animation. And the competition was very fierce. Get your slobbering mouth off me! Come on, let's go, Boris. We can cut around the back and catch the end of the race. Oh, no, no. A delicate country bird. Uh -huh. A delicate oh, on, what's the worst country bird. Okay. <laughs> Why do I let you talk me into these things? <laughs> <laughs> oh, look. <laughs> what the... Hmm. Every time is a race. You run around like you're in it. One day I will be. But he's goosing up. He's no spring chicken. Huh? I'm no spring penguin either. I think I've heard. I, I think I've heard these two voice actors before. I just can't remember. I can't put a face to the voice yet. That would be a tragedy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can open your eyes now. I love these rubbers. I love this brush bow. Come on, mush. Then you'll need this. Let me guess. Bolto falls in love We're with Jenna, the dog, dog. This dog. Mr. Johansson, the sled is beautiful. We're very great. Oh, thank you. I don't know, honey. I think we should have gotten to the dollhouse. The one mile marker. Woo I think she'll learn to like it. Good morning, Jenna. Ought to be a close race, don't you think? I'm afraid the only way Steel notices anyone is if they're wearing a mirror. What's that good? They're coming! <laughs> Got around the race. Out of my way, Lobo. Will you learn to stay on the sidelines? <laughs> steel wins first race of season. Stop. That steel is some dog, huh, Morris? 
Oh my gosh, brown nosing dogs. Brown nosing. Just leave him out of this. Oh, Balto. Hey, Balto, translate this for me, will you? Balto, stop! Get out of here, Wolf Dog. You better get back to your pack. Maybe we go now. I'm thinking Balto's friend got his feathers ruffled. Half wolf in his side pocket there. <laughs> this still so guy, this, this still dog is a prick, eh? Poor Bolto, honestly. <laughs> Not a dog. Not a wolf. All he knows. Is what he's not. Wow, we're getting some good morals already. I know what's going to happen here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Not today. Not today, my friend. Not today. Home. Oh. Sick Boris. I'm sticking here until I'm sure you can stand on own four feet. Herring. The herring are flying south too. Say. Oh no. Uncle How Boris. Sweet. Uncle Boris. Uncle Boris. That's a bear. That's a bear. We love you, Uncle Boris. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about, of course, he's glad to see us. He loves us. Hey, boy, chicks, let's play a game. Oh, we're drowning, we're drowning. Save us, please. Save us. Hey, come on, you're okay. You're not drowning. Tide is out. Clowns. He said the what? No wonder we are shunned by our fellow bear. Woe is us. But polar bears what? can swim, that's Whoa, the thing. Whimpering. Between you and Bolto is like those things. Polar bears? Light like honestly, up. like you think about one of the most dangerous animals, polar bears, if not the most dangerous, one of the. I dare you guys to go research about polar bears and their 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 hunting abilities. You'll be blown away, blown away. Jenna, he's love. So go make move. She's not my type. And why not? This wolf business again. Sometimes I wish like crazy I was half eagle. Why? And no one eats you for another. Hey, I had a friend who was half and half. He was half Aboriginal, half half Indigenous, and half white Caucasian. And he got best of both worlds. <laughs> he honestly did. Got the best of both worlds. But he could have chose not to. He could have chose just to be in the middle, be in the neutral, and life would have been tough for him. But he chose both sides, and life was actually really good for him. Really, really good for him. <laughs> Rosie, come on, you're going to catch your death out here. Come on, honey, the doctor's waiting. 
Just a shot in the dark, but I, I was wondering if, uh, go chase a few sticks by moonlight, uh... <laughs> she feels warm. She has a terrible cough. Boto, what's wrong with her? I'm not sure, but I know how to find out. Come on. After you. Balto. <laughs> Big paws kind of run in my family. Stay close. Uh, no problem there. Oh, Balto, you're right. It's beautiful. I have another blanket for you right here. You stay warm and get some rest. Exhausted from coughing. Her fever's getting worse. <sighs> and I'm out of antitoxin. I shouldn't have taken you down there. No, I'm glad you did. Oh my gosh. Jenna, join me for dinner. You start at one end, I'll start at the other. And... Balto. <laughs> I have to admit, your offer is very tempting. It is. Cooked. What's all the noise? Huh? Jenna, come on. Looks like Balto's found his way into your meat locker. Good boy, Steel. You've earned these. Get out of here, you thief! Come on, Jenna, let's go home. Everyone's so mean to Balto as well. More diphtheria antitoxin. Stop. Please help. Stop. Damn. From Juno, we are shipping anti-toxin by rail. Stop. Collect fastest docks for sled team to carry anti-toxin from Nanana to Nome. Collect the fastest docks for the sled team to fetch the anti-toxin. He's going to save the entire town. He's positively mad. That's, <coughs> that's what I thought. So this is based on a true story. This is based on a on a true story, guys. They're racing to see who's going to be on the dog sled team. What's with you, Janice? Because Loosely. Jenna is Loosely. With Balto. Loosely based on. She was seen in the boiler room the other night with Balto. <gasps> and don't bother to deny it. Well, then I won't. Get your dogs ready! Kevin Bacon. It's Kevin Bacon. Kevin Bacon plays Balto. I thought I heard his voice. This thing is a spectator sport. It requires very little preparation. Ah! You like potato chip? I'm not watching the race. <laughs> I'm running it. Soap. Soap yeah. flakes. You said what? Or soap cakes. Hey, look. I want to help Rosie get better. I can get that medicine through. <laughs> Did you ever think maybe you're the reason the other geese fly south? If only your feet <laughs> were as fast as your mouth. <laughs> hey. I don't wish you luck. I wish you sense! Good luck, kiddo. Yeah. Good luck, kiddo. Let us let the half dog run. It will be fun making him eat our snow. What do you think he's doing? And your last. Okay, Nikki, Caltag, Star, move it. We're strapping up. Do you honestly think any musher would ever put you on his team? Still is like the most jealous. As long as the medicine freak. gets through, stop It's funny and... because there's a lot of people like that where everyone hails them. Yeah, everyone hails them as these great sports stars or these great human beings. And then when push comes to shoveling, things, when things don't go their way, they turn into steel. They turn into this dog here. And that's the truth. There's so many people that are like that. So many people. And I experienced that as a person who does video creating for a living. Yeah, I'm a video creator. There's other video creators out there who are exactly like that. Who are exactly like you slip up once, you say something bad, and they all jump upon it. They all jump on it and they do whatever they can to hurt you. They see you being successful, they don't like it. They don't like it. 
They don't like it. And that's why I've kept my circle very, very tiny, very, very small here as a, as a creator online. Very, very small. Because that's how you do it. That's how you do it. Once you, if you have a big circle, then there's a lot of backstabbing involved. A lot of backstabbing involved. A lot of people turn into steel. The important thing here is to get the medicine through. And when I come back, I'm going to fold you five ways. Now, let's take a look at our winner here. Look at our winner. He's part wolf. See those teeth? He might turn them. All right, that was stupid. Vicky Keltag, star, let's go! Balto, I'm Better sorry. Better not talk to me, Jenna. I might turn on you. Balto, wait. That's it, you're letting them win, Balto. Balto, you're letting them win by doing that. By turning your back and running from your problems, you let people win, you let things win, you let life defeat you. You do not ever turn on your problems. You face your problems head on and you think and you assess, how can we get over this? How can we get through this? How can I live with this? You always do it because there's always a solution for everything in this life, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely, 100%. And there's never an option to give up. There's never an option to give up. That is never an option in life, ladies and gentlemen, is giving up. I'm telling you guys right now, it's the worst thing. When people hurt you, when people badmouth you, when people are racist, do not give up. Do not give up. Do not get angry at those people. Don't forget what those people have done to you. Don't forget what people do to you. Don't forget the way people are. Use it. Use it, ladies and gentlemen, to prosper. Use it to, to become better as a person. Use it to advance yourself as a human being. Do that. I'm telling you guys right now, giving up, running away from your problems is never an option. Come on. How can you prove to them you're not just a dog, you're not just a wolf, but prove to them, prove to them all that you are amazing. Send another team. Oh, it's all up to Bolto to save them. Watch. We're going to lose them. Rosie. Because now Bolt, Bolt, uh, Bolto wants to get the medicine for Rosie. But also his worst enemy. He has to save in the process. Ow. It's the only medicine we got. Beautiful dog, isn't it? Even though it's animation. Beautiful dog. Poor Rosie. And, uh Ostras! Ostras! Oh! Shivers! Fire out! No, man! Walto, please! Shoot. Don't go crazy on me now! You will be frozen stiff by morning! Don't come running to me! He's going into freezing coldness to find a dog he doesn't like to. I'm beginning to understand the bear. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, can I say? Yeah, no, once he sees with his own eyes. Might as well be talking to you. Oh, it melts your heart, doesn't it? Breaks your heart. So, let's go get the medicine. Wait a minute. He's like holiday in old country. Eat. Where's his old country? Oh, Russia. Right, Marking the trail. Huh? He's not marking our trail. <laughs> I spy with my little eye. Steel. Steel. Steel and his team passed this way. Boy, is he lost. We're going in circles! What? Again! I know what I'm doing! It's.
say it time and time again. Arrogancy and self-centered behavior can only lead to bad results in, in life and can only lead one way. There you go. It's good stubborn. It's bad stubborn. But mostly bad stubborn. Looks like he's hurt bad, Steel. What are we going to do now, Steel? <laughs> oh, yes! <laughs> Don't like to say it, but that's mostly Steel's fault, that. Oh, what a throw. It's a wolf. I bet you it's a wolf. Guys, I think... We have company. Bear. So, there's a bear in there. I think we should there. keep moving. Easy to say for a guy with four legs. It's time for Goose to kick a little bear butt. Oh. There's a big bear. Hola. Jenna? Jenna. Look at Jenna. She's bloody fighting. That's the girl. It's crazy how dogs are like that, though. Yeah, I was, talk I was talking to Tanya about this, yeah. Our dog, we've got a little, like, we've got a mixed bread, yeah. A little chihuahua mixed bread, yeah. Bomberanian mix miniature, yeah. We we noticed with her, yes, because small dogs have that sort of attitude, like I'm going to bark, 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 bark. But dogs are so loyal in a sense where they will fight for you. A cat. We had a cat. Well, listen to this, right? We had a cat when we were younger. And someone, someone broke into our house, and the cat just sat there and started licking itself. That's it. Whereas a dog, a dog hears a noise and the dog is up and barking. Oh, absolutely love. I'm a dog and a cat person, yeah, but I absolutely love dogs. Absolutely love dogs. Better if dogs aren't in apartments, though. Not really made for apartments. Dogs are made to run around and have fun and enjoy life. Not being kept in cages and things like that. Oh! The oh. oh, ice is breaking. Oh, no. No. oh yeah, polar bears. They cannot swim. What? Polar bears? Yeah, they can. Polar bears are the be like the best swimmers. That's what I was saying at the beginning. Like that's what I was thinking at the beginning. Sorry, polar bears are actually amazing swimmers. Well, I don't see them. Where are they? There they are. Whippy. He doesn't look very well, does he? Stop, stop, stop hitting him, Uncle Boris. Stop hitting him. I got people bumps. <laughs> got people bumps. Oh, I'm glad you came. Who else should you bring on the <laughs> wild goose chase? Look, a Bloody message hell. came through. We have to take the mountain trail. The mountain trail is dangerous, but we can do it. Eat the bears! You two guys ought to learn how to swim someday. Yes, well, of course we were. We were in the water. We were moving. We got wet, didn't we? We, we were swimming! <laughs> You should all go ahead without me. Jenna. No, no, I'll be slowing everyone down. You and Luck carry hey, Jenna back no. to town on this. You can make sure of that, Boris. You're gonna lead them home. Oh, hey, he's going on alone. Marks. You're going on alone? Won't be the first time. <laughs> well, of course, Bolto will come back. I do not like leaving you out here alone. They need you even more than I do. But maybe... What? Wolf can. Let's move! Hey! hey. Send more antitoxin. Stop. Lost sled team. Only hope. Stop. And that's one thing about people that live in remote areas like that is medicine. Is one of the biggest problems is medicine. 
people always, always talk about, oh, I'd love to live out in the middle of nowhere, away from society, and mm, it's not as easy as you think. On the on the movies and TV series, it looks easy. It's not as easy as you think. You need survival instincts, and you need to make sure you know how to provide medicine, and you need to make sure you have medicine. <laughs> How did you find us? Is anyone hurt? I can lead you home. We don't need your help. I'm the lead dog. I'm in charge. What? I'm not leaving without that medicine. Since when do you need a pedigree to help someone? Let me help you. Look at his eyes. Look at his eyes. I think he is feeling it now. Ouch. Don't so these bloody to... other dogs are going to be standing there when Bolto's risked his life to help you guys. Crazy. This stuff is fragile, dear. What's with steel? Oh, Bolto... <laughs> Wolf dog, you'll never get home. You would never I'm get home. Sure of that. How about over here? Move the wrong way. No. So this dog gets lost, but yet he's able to get in front of them and find the, the path, the way home, to throw him off track. Like, out of weird, 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 what a weird dog, honestly. See, that's what happens when dogs get rabies, ladies and gentlemen. That's what happens when dogs get rabies. Which way? Uh, this way. Walter, why are you taking us in circles? I'm not. It's Steel. Maybe we was better off with him there. Mush! Ah. Hey, hey, you're going too fast. Nope. Balto. Oh, it's all broken, isn't it? I don't get it. How could Balto hope to find Steel and his team? He's tracking them. That mutt! <laughs> Balto? Steel! 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 One by one, they fell, frozen. It was just, it was too late. Oh. They were <laughs> dragging the medicine alone. All alone. He, he demanded I let him take the medicine. He just wanted so much to be a hero in your <sighs> eyes. He just didn't have a chance. <laughs> it I'm sorry. Amy promised to take care of you, Jenna. What a sly prick, huh? You're lying. <gasps> Baldo's alive. He's coming home. You're a sly prick. Steal the sly bastard. Son. Ice cats. Bolto. Wow. How beautiful is that wolf? Come on, accept who you are. Accept who you are. Accept who you are. Sometimes people are like that. But maybe a wolf can. Oh. Yeah. What a 
that in later, huh? Later shit. Oh my god. Why well, is this one thing after another happening to them? Just one thing after another after another. It just doesn't stop, man. Poor them. Start another freaking riot. Oh gosh, man. Oh no. Come on, guys, please. Jesus Christ, man. Bloody, these kids are going through a war themselves. But those dogs, man. They're going through one there themselves as well. Balto. Balto. Ah. Balto. Balto's back! Jenna. The team. They made it. Now the whole town is going to appreciate Balto. So I... Deal, you are positively disposable. Okay, okay, uh, I can explain. So you don't wait, a minute, guys. Wait, That's what I say. Let your enemies be your enemies because karma comes to people's ways who hurt people, who do bad things. Bad things happen to bad people as well. But you just don't hear about it because bad people hide the fact that bad things happen to them. Good people are the ones that always complain about it. Good people are the ones that always have bad things happen to them. And we know about it. Everyone knows about it. But bad people don't want to let you know that bad things happen to them as well. Please. Someone wants to see you. What an amazing story, man. I fell asleep. <laughs> Rosie. Such a I'd be lost without you. <laughs> Jenna. Oh, look, plenty of crying. I didn't even realize. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, this caught me off guard, man. Lovely movie, eh? Indomitable <laughs> spirit of the sled dog. Endurance, fidelity, intelligence. Wow. Walter really did do all of that, didn't you, Grandma? Oh, yes, sweetheart. He really did. Can Blaze do that too, Grandma? Maybe. With practice. A lot of practice. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Blaze. Come oh, on. Awesome. Thank you, Balto. I would have been lost without you. <gasps> oh, that was the girl. Grandma Rosie. Oh, that was the little girl. It was Rosie. That's a beautiful ending. Oh, wow. That's a beautiful ending, man. Wow. That's awesome. Based on a true story, yep. There you go, guys. What a lovely ending that was, huh? This was based on a true story in, in from Gnome. And Gnome... I do believe is in Alaska. So this is based on a true story. Now this just tells me how special of a story that would have been to 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 tell your grandkids yeah of this amazing dog. Okay, all the cat owners and cat lovers out there, tune out. Cats won't be able to do this. Cats would never be able to do that. End of story. Um of a dog who showed courage and heroism in a time where 
he was ridiculed by the whole entire town just because he was a halfa. Now, that's an inspiring story in its own, not just about a dog, but about about hatred being thrown your way and you caving in. He just showed us that even when people, all they want to do is hurt you and you feel like everyone is against you, never give in to them. Believe in yourself, believe who you are, trust yourself and trust who you are and believe of what you can do and Bolto did that Bolto showed Bolto Bolto showed Bolto showed so much courage in the face of adversity it, it just everything was going against him everything even the stupid dog named Steel I wonder if that that dog actually did exist Steel <sighs> Jesus Christ, what an absolute prick of a dog. But for him to show that and to deliver that medicine, it just it's inspiring because this is an this is an animal that was able to show super strength. And I'm wondering if he if it was because he was half wolf he was able to do that. If he was just a normal dog, I don't think he maybe would have been able to survive like that, to do that. I think because he was half wolf, half dog, he was able to survive and show his instincts on where he's come from and call upon the strength for that. But that's what I said, embrace it. Embrace both sides. And he ended up doing that. And look what happened. He had strength that no other dog had. He had strength that he literally led a, a, a team of dogs from the snow with a guy who was knocked out for half of the movie. Through so much snow, so many things happening. I mean, like, even like, like avalanches and things like that, just everything was happening. There was so much happening. I, I, I just, I, I'm perplexed that, how much they went through just to get that medicine and become heroes themselves. And dogs don't live as long as humans. But yet... But yet they're more... It, it, it's, it's funny that because they're more... Loving and caring than majority of us humans. And that's true. Every dog, no matter what dog it is, if you train a dog to be vicious, it will be vicious. If you abuse a dog, it will be vicious. Yeah, absolutely amazing film, guys. Absolutely amazing. I mean, everything from from the way it was animated. This was the 90s as well. I'm so impressed with 90s, 80s, and 70s films. The way they're animated, just absolutely stunning and beautiful. I love that sort of old school touch to things, yeah. And the music, sound effects, like even even Kevin Bacon, just absolutely sensational voiceovers. All of them, even the guy that played um, Steel, the guy that played Steel, absolutely sensational voiceover. Just everything about this movie was really, really good. I enjoyed it well no not everything sorry some things I was a bit like what the hell but majority of it there you go majority of the movie was was really really good and on that case I'm giving this an 8 out of 10 ladies and gentlemen 8 out of 10 for, for me um, like I said the fact that this was based on a true story and I hope most of this was right what we got to see because that would be an absolutely sensational to be a part of that, especially within that inside of that town. Yeah, remembering all that, sensational, absolutely sensational. And at the end there, we got to see that it was the girl herself. So, yeah, telling the story of the grandmother. So there you go, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy it. You want to go check this out on forward? It's over on Patreon. I'm going to head out and watch some, uh, listen to some Harry Potter audiobooks, and I'll speak to you later. Bye, guys. Take it easy.